So instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now, I decided to make you guys a video because I figured this would be probably the best way to waste my time. Um, although it's not really a waste of time just because it's our way of keeping up with each other for the summer. Um, so I am making this video and I was too lazy to even turn the lights on when I got back from doing decos. Um, you can see I'm in my reunion t-shirt. Um, but yeah, right now I should, I should be in the shower. Um, and I technically should be getting ready for the dinner dance, but I did not find a dress to wear, um, because I'm just, I'm so oddly proportioned that I can't find dresses that work. <laughs> and so I, I had to begrudgingly leave the mall without a dress, although granted that's not that big of a deal to me. Um, although when Skylar, when I told Skylar that I didn't have a dress, she was like, why don't you have a dress? And I was like, it's me we're talking about, what would I use a dress for? Um, but, mm, so I don't know, I'll see what I do. Because the options is either going to the dinner dance or helping with the children of the reunioners, and I don't want to work with the children. So, I don't know, I have like 40 minutes to figure out what I want to do. Um, but yeah, since this is addressed to both of you, let me just throw some sad things out there. First sad thing is that <laughs> the last episode of Merlin that I watched was episode 3, <laughs> and I fell asleep during it. Um, I, it's not that it was like a boring episode or anything, I was just very tired, and towards the end I just kind of drifted off, and I don't know how it ended. Um, so, I'm not sure when I'm going to catch up on Merlin. Um, I am only working two hours on Monday, and I'm not working at all on Tuesday, so maybe, but I'm not making any guarantees, because I have been, oh, it's not there, um, I don't know where I put it, but I've been rediscovering the love of my 3DS and my Pokemon games, and I have big plans that I don't know if I can explain without just coming across as even more of an uber nerd than I am. Um, so yeah, I, I need to catch up on Merlin. Um, what else? I have a list here, but I don't know which ones would go best together. Um, well, I guess since Reese, you told me to read the Merlin fanfiction, I haven't gotten around to those yet. Um, I haven't even really looked at them to see what they're about, but uh, the one thing with fanfiction that I have to say is that I've been putting off um, doing, <laughs> I've been meaning to read this one story that a couple of people I follow on Tumblr, they're going absolutely crazy about, um, and it's a uh, Legend of Korra fanfiction, um, and it's called The World of Grey. I don't know if Kelly has heard of this at all, but I follow the author who writes that story, and he's a really good writer, and I love his one other story that he writes that's also for Legend of Korra. Um, but I had started reading The World of Grey before these people on Tumblr started going gaga over it, and I just, like, I mean, it was good, but it was, like, it was one of those things that, like, even though you know it's, like, good and it's written extremely well, you're still just, like... I don't know, I don't know if I want to read this, and it, it's a Makora fic, and kind of the premise around it is that Korra feels like she can't be the Avatar, because everyone's trying to shut her off, and just kind of, I don't know, it's, it's really hard to explain. She's having trouble trying to balance what it means to be the Avatar when there's a police force out there, and there's all these different factors, including, you know, just her being a woman, and she can't, like, find balance within herself, so she ends up running away. But this is after, she, like, she's in her 20s at this point. And I only read, I think I only read, like, three or four chapters of it, but it's in, like, the high 20s in chapters right now, and people have been going crazy about it, so I, I guess I need to read that one again. Um, 
But I feel like just reading that story alone would be like a whole day's worth of reading. So I, I will have to see what I can do. Um, let's see what else I'm doing. Um, another thing I've been really doing lately is I've been, um, I made this like crazy spreadsheet where I'm like sectioning off the money that I'm getting from working. Although so far <laughs> I've only had two paychecks. Um, well, maybe three if you include the school's paycheck from May, but I don't really include that, um, and I'm not subjecting it to budgetary constraints anyway. Um, so, I've been doing that, and two, I guess two of the, actually three of the big things that my money is going towards besides just my savings fund, as I'm pulling this up, is actually um, the Kindle. Um, I'm gonna get a Kindle Paperwhite. And the good thing with this is that my fund got a nice little boost when I sold my one textbook from Term 3 on Amazon. And I should be getting the money from that this week. And I, after, you know, they took out their commissions and whatnot, I got about $65. So that's going towards my Kindle, and the Kindle costs 120 and I need to buy the charger separately, which is kind of stupid, but it's Amazon, so they do everything stupidly, and I'm debating whether I should buy, I mean, because if it's, if it's just the Kindle and the charger, it's going to be $130, but if I, if I want to buy something else like screen protectors, I think those are like $15, and if I want to buy, like, the care plan, I think it's like a two-year warranty insurance something or other that's like thirty dollars so i don't know at what point i want to cap the money that's going towards the kindle um and i i don't know i guess i'm just going to have to wait and see um and see how i feel but i mean i, I i've done care packages before in the past and i think the only thing that it's ever really paid off with is my laptop but i don't know I'll wait and see. But the other two things that I'm putting a lot of money in or away for is um, a new phone because I really need to transition into the world of smartphones because seriously, like, I've tried using the internet on this one. It's just, it's not good. Like, you can't even go on Google and look things up without it giving you a world of problems. So, um, hold on, I have to answer something on Skype. Um, so I've been, basically, I, I still don't want to plan, and I'm still thinking, like, even though the phone I've liked the best so far has been a straight talk phone, I don't want to commit, it's not really a commitment, but I don't want to pay $45 a month, just, it's not a commitment because it's not a contract phone, but $45 a month for me is still kind of like, eh, I just don't prefer not to pay it when you know you have these people at this school who are like fro frolicking around and they're like oh look I'm awesome iPhone 5 and I'm just like you don't even pay for that your parents pay for that for you um and it just kind of makes me sick like I think the other day I saw like a kid who looked like he was 10 and he had an iPhone I, I don't get it um so what I've been planning on doing instead is that I'm going to get, um, I'm gonna buy a phone, just the phone itself, which I don't know if you've ever looked at the prices of phones outside of contracts, but they're really expensive. But instead of buying it new, I'm probably just going to go on eBay and buy one, which I know some of you guys might think, like, oh, that's kind of risky and I know it is but considering I've bought from eBay in the past with a lot of success I trust a lot of um, the sellers and I know what to look for and make sure I get what I need to get but the thing I didn't realize until um, today when I was looking at the phones or looking at some phones I have actually narrowed down my search to two phones so that's really exciting um, but I'm taking my phone apart is that my sim card is meant for 3G. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, and I'm going to need a new SIM card that's capable of handling 4G. 
So I don't know if that will entail me getting a new number or if I can just transfer it over easily. Um, but yeah, I'm like I said, I've narrowed it down to two phones that I really like, and I can get them. I, it's like at least sixty percent off of what a new one would be from buying eBay. I mean, they'll be used, but a lot of people they use these phones for like month, two months, and then they like use it to get something else because these are just like they're not like they're not iPhone and they're not like the Samsung Galaxies was people you know I think those are probably the two most popular smartphones right now um so people use these phones and then they end up upgrade it's not even an like official upgrade but they sell them for whatever reason um and the two phones that I have it narrowed down to are the Motorola Atrix HD, which looks awesome. I think it's a little bigger than the other one that I wanted, or that I'm thinking of getting. Um, and it comes in two colors. It's black and white, basically. But the white one isn't all white. It's, like, only partially white, but I think it looks a lot cooler than the black one. Um, I'm trying to think what they said about this phone. I think the, the one downside to the Motorola one is that you cannot access the battery at all. Um, so it's kind of like an iPhone in that way. And I heard that this, the shutter speed on the camera isn't the greatest, but it's still probably a lot better than the camera on this thing anyway. Um, and then the other phone I have been thinking about getting is the Pantech Flex and that one only comes it's like a dual colored gray black type thing and um, both actually both phones have had a lot of really good reviews about them um, and like I've watched like reviews that people have done on YouTube and the people really like them especially since they're cheaper options like if you want to get involved in smartphones but you don't want to pay the money for like the, the iPhone or the Galaxy um, people get those and um, the Pantech Flex I th you know you can access the battery so if for some reason the battery dies you can just change it probably and um, I'm trying to think what else I don't know I I was researching them while I was at the exhibit this morning and basically at the exhibit I kinda looked like this it was really bad. I went to the bathroom and I looked at myself and I was I, I look like a ghost, kind of. Look like a zombie. Um which is sad because I what Kelly, when I told you I went to bed, I literally went to bed like five minutes later. So I had about eight hours of sleep last night and I'm exhausted. Um I just need to sleep more apparently. <laughs> um and I liking this right now. My light side and my dark side. Okay, enough of those little offbeat. I don't know. I'm tired. I can't think. Um, but yeah. So th these phones will be a lot more affordable on um, buying them on eBay used, and I'm just. You know, I don't, it's like you want to go into the realm of smartphones, but like you don't want to like do the plunge, I don't know, you just want to dip your feet in the shallow end for a little bit. Um, but what I'm going to end up doing is I can buy gig on a monthly basis. Um, it's pay as you go, like this phone. And so I'm going to do that. I think I can buy, like, this is apparently expensive, but, I mean, it's it's not going to be that expensive if I don't need more. So, um, but it'll be a gig of data for $25 a month. And, um, and I know, Reese, you said that you basically only use, like, a gig a month anyway. Um, and then I can pay for my minutes as I normally have been unless I start using my phone more. Um, but I, you know, I don't just, I just don't see that changing at all. Cause it's not like a lot that different between 
me now and me post, at least I don't think there will be anything different between me post smartphone, but I guess we'll tell. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna do that. I feel like when I tried asking the lady at the AT&T store if I could do that, she was like, well, yeah, you could, but, and it's like, I got ya. Um, so I guess I'll wait and see on that, but my, um, my funding for the Kindle will be made a lot, or for the phones will be made a lot easier once I buy my Kindle, because then part of the percentage I'm putting away for the Kindle is going to go towards the phone fund, and the other part is going towards, um, this other thing, it's the third part that's, I'm also planning right now, and it's, um, my trip to Philadelphia, and I told Kelly how, um, this all came about, but basically, um, my dad was like, oh, hey, I'm going to the Phillies game on a bus trip when you're back home, you can come with me if you want, um, and I was like, you know, I'll think about it, um, but I have been wanting to go to Philadelphia for a while, just on my own, not really you know, with someone else, because the last time I was there was in April, I believe, when we went to the Franklin Institute, but I'm pretty sure that's all we did when we were up there. We might have eaten, but we didn't do anything else, and i just been meaning to exploring the area, since that's where I'm planning on working when I graduate, um, and so I've been planning things I want to do, and I'm trying to convince Vicky to come with me, and I think she's, she's into going, definitely, um, I'll be the driver because she's having surgery this summer, so she'll probably be on crutches the entire time, but we'll see what we can do with that. Um, but I have a list going. Wow, this video is going really long, and I really should be getting ready, but I'm, I'm not. Um, but this is the list I have so far, um, of things that I'm thinking of doing. I don't know if Vicky's considered them at all, but, um, we've considered going, well, actually, I think it sounds fairly certain that we want to go to the Eastern State Penitentiary, um, which Al Capone was actually an inmate there, so that's kind of cool, and, um, probably going to the Mutter Museum, which I was there about two years ago, so I don't know if there's anything, it probably hasn't changed that much, but Vicky hasn't been there, so I, I would go there again, because it's a really cool place. And then I can properly look at the gift shop on, like, last time. Um, but then I'm thinking, you know, like, what shops are there to do? Um, you know, I, there's, I, there's a lot of, like, in-town shopping. There are also shopping malls. Um, and probably my favorite shopping mall is King of Prussia, which isn't even in Philadelphia. It's in King of Prussia which is outside, um, so if we, it, I guess it depends on what kind of shopping we want to do, because I would say if we went to King of Prussia, we would probably go there on our way, leaving the city, um, depending on what time we're leaving, and, um, if we wanted to do something else while we're there, it's, you know, it's just finding where the main areas are, I mean, I know there's Liberty Place, um, could always go to um, the Franklin Mills Mall, which is in the city, but it's like further away from all the places where we're going to be. Um, but some other things that we're thinking of doing is um, there is actually an Edgar Allan Poe home in Philadelphia. And right now it's been closed for, um, they're doing restoration work, but I've, I, Oh gosh, when I saw this, because it's free to go there too, um, I was like, oh my gosh, we need to go. Um, and it's going to be really cool. And then another thing that's uh, that's free in the city is um, apparently this Museum for Contemporary Art is free. So that would be really fun. Um, and I can do some other things that I've done already. I don't know if Vicky's done them, but I mean, I've seen the Liberty Bell before. Um, Apparently going to, like, Independence Hall or something like that's free, so... There are, there are some free things to do in Philadelphia, but it's it's not like Washington, D.C. Because, um, like, we'll have to pay to go to the Mutter Museum and to go to the penitentiary. Um, but, yeah, I guess we're just kind of forming ideas 
Um, and I need an idea of like what day we want to go down because uh, I am coming home on August 11th, which is a Sunday, and I am leaving back for here two weeks after that, I guess. I don't know what date that is. Uh, 20, 28th? Is that? No, 25th. It's the 25th because it's Kelly's birthday. Um, and do what else? Oh yeah, so the bus trip is that Saturday the 17th. So if I go to that, um, then that's a Saturday that's taken up. So um, we can go on a Saturday. The only thing is the Edgar Allan Poe House is open. I believe it said Wednesday through Saturday or Sunday or something like that. So if we wanted to go do that, we had to go one of those days. Um, but yeah, wow, this video is going really long. Did I talk about everything? Um, yeah, for the most part. Okay, I guess I'm going to wrap this up because I really should be getting ready. Um, I should have taken a shower and I actually need to be somewhere in 15 minutes, so that's a problem. Um, but quickly for Reese, um, I had, wow, I just blinked a little bit, um, a book recommendation for you once again because you, I've already told you this one before, but you need to read it. Um, you should read Clockwork Angel and then Clockwork Prince and then Clockwork Princess, which will destroy your soul in beautiful ways. Um, and right now I'm rereading, um, I started Cassandra Clare's, where is it? I'm rereading City of Heavenly Fire, uh, City of Fallen Angels, wow, City of Heavenly Fire hasn't even come out yet, but, um, I started reading this book a few days ago, and I'm finally, you know, getting into the swing of things, I'm a little over halfway through now, and <laughs> so the first time I read this book, I couldn't stand it because it was just for, like I was one of those people who was like, "Oh, she shouldn't have continued the series. This is kind of she's stretching it." And I mean, it's you understand why authors stretch things because they want money. Um, but upon the reread so far, I'm actually enjoying it. So I don't know what's changed between then and now. The only considerable thing I can think of is um, the Infernal Devices series which is Clockwork Princess, Clockwork Angel, you know, those things. Um, and then this is the Mortal Instruments series. But then I'm getting close to reading City of Lost Souls, which I'm really looking forward to, because I need all of my brother Zachariah goodness. Um, so while I'm thinking about Jem, I'm going to sign off, because I have a smile. Um, and then I'm going to get ready for everything, and oh, I don't know when I'm going to fall asleep tonight. Um, I have to work tomorrow. But I'm supposed to be helping with the children until midnight. Okay. Um, so I'm going to sign off and I'm going to post this and hopefully Reese will be able to watch this soon. But um, yeah, who knows when you'll get to see that. So bye guys. Um, I'll talk to you soon.